weather with 27 Storm Tracks, Catherine Noel. Welcome back, everyone. The freezing fog that we've had the last couple days has really just brought in gorgeous scenery especially when it comes to our trees and branches. Take a look at this picture here. So this is called rime ice and a lot of you have been sending in pictures wondering what the difference is between rime ice and hoarfrost. So the difference is really behind the formation. So we talk about kind of, you know, what this is. They both look the same. So looks has nothing to do with it. Rime ice, it forms from freezing fog and hoarfrost. It forms when we have clear skies and that's not the case when we have foggy conditions. So we know right away that this is rime ice, what we're looking at here. Absolutely just breathtaking. Diane K sent this in, uh, taken from Madison, but this is no longer the case when it comes to fog. We are clearing out, especially on the west side of our region. Madison, look at this sunny skies today. A lot of us have been wanting this because it's been, what, seven days now without any sunshine. And pretty soon here, though, the clouds will push back in. So enjoy it while we have it. 28 degrees. That is what it feels like. A northerly wind, about three miles per hour. Some of us are still dealing with visibility issues out there, especially the eastern side of the state. And this is also the people who don't have the sunshine yet. I know a lot of you in Watertown are like, we're waiting for the sun, and it will get to you before the clouds push back in. I promise you that. But we do have visibility down to six miles in Fond du Lac, around two miles in Montello, a little bit northern there in those areas. Juno, Adams County, Green Lake, Marquette also still getting some visibility problems, but we do not have an advisory in place anymore. That did clear and uh, run up around 10 this morning. Madison, 9 though, that's the best we've looked since three days ago. I think we do have a chance of fog moving back in later. 28 degrees right now, feels like 28. Not much of a wind out there, so not much of wind chills to mention. I think we'll get to the 30s today within the next couple of hours or so. That sunshine is really going to help us get there. Low 30s, though, 32 degrees. It's some of the warmest temperatures we have felt in like five or six, seven days at this point, though. We're definitely above our average of 26. Clouds and radar does show that cloud cover pushing in and clearing out, but we don't have that much time until the clouds really do start to build in. Look at that next system of low pressure going through Billings, Bismarck, Rapid City right now. I think we still dry will stay dry. I just think that, you know, we just get more cloud cover in terms of what we'll receive from this. So those low dense gray clouds do push in right around sunset and then we'll start to clear out. I think possibly a little bit tomorrow. So we're going from mostly cloudy skies, but still cloudier, much cloudier than today. Warmer than average is what we're looking at for our eight to 14 day outlook and drier than average for southern Wisconsin. This is for the next two weeks. So a very, very quiet pattern. We enter that today. 32 degrees for recap. Areas of freezing fog very early, then partly sunny skies, even mostly sunny in Madison to the west. Tonight, 18 for your low, mostly cloudy conditions. Tomorrow, the clouds do return, mostly cloudy skies, 31 for your high. Here's a look at your extended forecast. Very quiet all week long. No precipitation to talk about. Maybe some flurries on Thursday, but no accumulating snow, that's for sure. And highs do stay above average of 26, so highs will be in the 30s, low 30s, upper 20s. And that pattern does stay for a while. <laughs> it's just kind of boring, right? It is boring. This is a boring yeah, yeah. week to talk about for our seven day. And it's just unreal for January. It We're really a lot is. warmer than what we normally experience. All right, Catherine, thank you. <laughs>